Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and if you can tell by my voice I'm trying to get over a really bad cold. Even last night I had an allergy attack within my cold. It's just <laughs> it's really bad. So I'm gonna do my best to show you this amazing new release at my creative time. It is all die sets only with some accompanying stamps as well. Because I'm a little bit foggy in my head because of the cold, if I forget to mention something, I'll put a note on the screen if it's something really important, okay? And I'll leave it up there long enough so you can catch it on the screen. This release at My Creative Time includes gingerbread, dressing up your gingerbread as Cupid, which is absolutely adorable. There's a new treat bag and some primitive hearts. The sale starts now 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time, and will last until Sunday, February 4th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time, which is 2.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To get 15% off this weekend only, use the code Suzanne, that's my name, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, to get 15% off your entire purchase. So there are a lot of items that have restocked as well. Even the super cute gingerbread from the previous release, which I will link my video here. That's the snowman with the little angel wings, which I did bring in to accompany Cupid. Alrighty, crafters, let's get started. Here are the five die sets. This is the Cupid add-on for the gingerbreads. Not for the smallest gingerbread, but for the medium and the giant gingerbread. There is Sweet Ginger's Cupid add-on dies, which comes with the bow and arrow and the little holder for your arrow or a satchel and a strap for the satchel. You even get a stamp set. Then there is the Giant Ginger Cupid add-on. Same exact set of dies and the stamps, but the stamps give you faces with hearts in the eyes, but different sentiments. Between the two sets, you can get a lot of Valentine theme, love you, Cupid, all sorts of good sentiments as well. Just wanna point out real quick, on this particular sentiment, you make, make my heart smile. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a little bit of surgery on it and I took a pair of scissors. Take a pair of sharp scissors. I used something like this, really sharp scissors. And then I just cut out that make, cut out the U and then I was able to make it work. And I'll show you my example. Here is that second make. It was just a little typo, okay? Here is the treat bag. Love the large treat bag. A primitive heart. So before there is a small primitive heart, now there is the large primitive heart and Cupid chocolate add-ons. This is adorable too. This is really a nice 3D looking but still flat chocolate box. Alrighty, let's get into my examples and then I'll go further into this. First up is my sweet, cute Valentine <laughs> gingerbread card. I love this card so much. This features the giant gingerbread which is a stamp and die set i put together my little ginger first i did her in all pink for the face on the gingerbread you could use these standard stamps that comes with this set or come over here into the giant ginger cupid add-on and then use this that's the heart in the eye i used my jelly roll pen to color that in because when you stamp it on it'll show this color in the background whichever color your gingerbread is and then fill that in in the background i use an embossing folder from my stash with hearts on it did a little bit of iridescent spray and then i built up my scene with my little cupid ginger carrying her little bag with her little arrows and she's out sending love love is in the air <laughs> love that for the cupid add-on you're getting the clouds i use both clouds you're also getting the arrow and you make the whole set you get the arrow base you build on top that's that piece there and then you get the hearts to finish it almost four inches tall by one and three eighths of an inch wide the bag four inches again by roughly let's say one and a quarter going all the way out to there which has a layering piece too so i cut the bag in black then put this in pink on top and the hearts here for the arrows that's here so everything has little decorative pieces even the arrow comes with a heart and the arrow tip and then the hearts here the clouds these you can use within this set and you can use with everything else it's just awesome stitch clouds to create scenes in two sizes 
I stamped on my cloud, love is in the air, and that is right here. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello, Valentine. You are loved. Love you more. XOXO. The Cupid add-on is a stamp and die set. Giant gingerbread stamp and die is still getting more mileage. Beyond Christmas, now going into Valentine's. So adorable. To finish my Cupid, I'm using both sizes of the Winter Angel Wings. There is the Winter Angel Wing die set and the Little Winter Angel Wings. For the Giant Ginger, I use this set of wings. And then for the bag, I put wings on it as well. And I use this one. And I did it in vellum. So I did vellum for the shadow and the inner layer on both pieces, okay? On my gingerbread, I did cut out the frosting. I put some frosting here on the bag and one of the primitive hearts. So this is the new large prim hearts, which even comes with some smaller hearts. So this is an awesome layering set. This is nine pieces. Let me give you the measurement of the largest heart. Five and a quarter inch tall, under two and three quarters of an inch, okay? So I put one of the heart here, and then I finished off my little Cupid's bag with a bow. I'm using the mini bow dies, just to make a little bow right here. So that's number one. So I have her like shooting her arrow. Just so cute. Number two, same embossing folder in the background. The giant ginger die. But this time I changed the scene. So this one is still Valentine's. So is this embossing folder. I love this embossing folder with the hearts. I think it just helps to set the scene for everything else. I used giant ginger stamp and die from the giant ginger cupid add-on. I used the eyes. That's there. Hello, Valentine comes from here. That's the sentiment up there. I'm using this amazing little die set. Cupid chocolate add-ons. This is a timeless one you'll reach for every year. It makes this adorable heart and this little extra piece, that little shadow, makes it a 3D box but it's still flat. It's just a top layer. You can cut it all in one color but if you want to highlight the difference then you go like a darker shade like I did here. And then I took some glitter cardstock to finish the bow. This piece is that stripe, here is the bow, and then this is the center for the bow. Two and a quarter by two inches. If I come all the way down here, depending on the bow, then I'm at two and a quarter, okay? But so super cute. So I just put it here like she's holding her little chocolates and saying, hello, Valentine. To finish the card, I used these two die sets right here. This is the pretty scallop oval, the largest one. And then I came in with the pretty oval layers. And that's in pink here. So it's white and pink. These two are popped off of the base. And then the gingerbread is popped off of this layer. And then this is popped off the gingerbread. So there's a lot of height going on. But I think it gives nice dimension. All that good stuff that we love in card making. <laughs> Crafters, I am so sick. But I am pushing through, okay? This is five and a quarter inch tall by three and three quarters of an inch wide. And I finished off with some little glitter drops from my stash. The sentiment is stamped on this cute little banner label die. This is called a heart label die. I use this piece right here. Use the base in pink and then cut this out in white and then stamp the sentiment on it, okay? So I use my grip mat to help hold this in place while I was stamping. Two and three quarters of an inch by five eighths of an inch and then it gets bigger and bigger. So I like that it does has that piece. It does have little hearts in here as well. And that is it for card number two. Up next crafters, I have a clean Valentine card here. This is in lighter pinks. It's a pale pink colorway, all dictated by this pattern paper from this paper pad, Ginger Chefs, which is in stock. I use this color right here. The hearts I'm using Two of the primitive hearts, the large prim hearts, layered up. I did white cardstock and then came on with the pink. And then I just did the arrow from the Sweet Ginger Cupid add-on die set, which also comes with a stamp and dies. Sometimes you just want a very clean card. That's what I was going for. And I just layered up all this shade of this light pale pink on here, I'm using the largest of the XOXO border frame dies, which is in stock. Under five inches tall by three and three quarters of an inch wide. This is an A2 card base. So you'll see that you're going to get like a half an inch spacing all the way around, quarter inch on each side, okay? And it does have this great XOXO detail. I was thinking about using the sentiment that comes in here, the sizing of it. So I just stamped special delivery instead from the stamp set here, okay? 
So cute. And that's it. It's a very clean card. Just depends on what you're looking for. Did you want to go like this? If you have to mass produce a bunch of Valentine's cards for your child's classroom or for your co-workers, etc., then you can go a more cleaner look or you like a clean look. Here are my last two examples. This is the treat box. It is so cute. It is a 3D treat box. It doesn't have a side opening. You can use the box add-on die and I'll put a link for it where you could close it if you wish. I use double-sided tape to close my box. So let me just open it up here. You could use Velcro, the little Velcro tabs, maybe three-eighths of an inch, I believe is the size to close it. It also comes with a pocket too. So this one has a pocket. This one does not. And you can fit all sorts of goodies in here. So let me give you a measurement on this cutie patootie treat bag. Here is the die set, large treat bag. You don't have any sides. If you know how to make a side like this, then you could add it to here if you wish to, if you don't want to use a die. Six and five eighths of an inch tall by four inches wide. Now the treat bag itself, because this piece, that score line folds on the bottom, okay? So the width of the box on the bottom, one and a half inch. The box itself from the top to the bottom is five and one eighth of an inch. So five and an eighth, and then the width is still the same, four inches, okay? You have a few options with this bag as well. You'll cut this base die twice. Adhesive will be here on one of the pieces on the bottom. And you just layer one on top of the other and that's it. Now you get a nice layering die. Love this piece for here. And that's what I use with pattern paper. And then you also get this pocket piece. You could do a pocket on the outside, which is made to fit a gift card. So here is a gift card. You see, you can put a gift card and a little note, secret note. Here, this is the matting layer for the pocket. Emma at My Creative Time also included this piece, which I used. I cut 110 pound card stock, put the pattern paper on the top, and then ran this through my die cut machine. That's how I got the alignment for it. And then on the back, I kept the back plain. I wasn't feeling great crafter, so <laughs> you just don't know. And then last night when my allergies came into the cold, I was like, are you kidding me? Why, why? <laughs> Eyes were watering and I'm coughing. Oh, it was bad. And then this one I also did in pink cardstock. So cute. So I did one as a gingerbread Valentine treat bag. This one. If I change that sentiment, this could just be happy birthday, all year round, all occasion treat bag. You could use this treat bag too for favors, baby shower, bridal shower, all sorts of things, okay? Because the bag is neutral. It just depends on how you decorate it. Then you dictate what occasion you're using it for. Great for Christmas too. Halloween as well. Yeah, this would be really cute for Halloween. I'm using the sweet gingerbread person die, just these two pieces to create my gingerbread. Stamped on the inside, this stamp for the face. And I use one cloud, a small cloud. And then here is the bag with the arrows. I use some silver glitter. I think the silver glitter is a nice little touch for contrast. Here's the bow. I didn't use the arrow. It was looking too busy. I also use the wings, the angel wings. Here I came in with a little tag and I stamped love. The tag frame dies and the tag frame die layers. I use the second to the smallest for that sentiment. And here I have a bow, mini bow die set right there. Just this little piece and then that center and I am done. The pattern paper in the background comes from this set, Fun Birthday. It does have a very faint musical note because it's like tone on tone. Super cute. So I think it works very well with this Cupid and that pink card base. And I popped up my little ginger off of that cloud. I also brought in the stamp set. This one is called Sweet On You. There's the love for the donut hole set. Isn't that... Look at this. Look at all those sentiments. Yeah, use your 15% for that. That's a great little set. So this is treat bag number one. Here is treat bag number two. Unexpected, but so loving because I always saw this Halloween paper pad as going beyond Halloween. This pattern and this pattern, plus all these solids are your all year round winners. And I love this particular one here with the flowers. So I cut it out in gray cardstock. So here is that layering piece that I used to cut here. Then I noticed the florals here match a die set that is in the My Creative Time shop. I just used this on a previous video. I will link that video here. The foliage dies. So the shapes here are in here. Isn't that amazing? And then here are the flowers. The small flower die set, which is pretty much this. 
is in here as well. This is two sets of the small flowers die set. So you'd only get one of each size. And I cut out this matches that. This is like here. The centers are there. And I just layered it up. I did the vines in gray. And then I layered up the flowers, put those centers. I used the prim hearts, the new large prim hearts. Layered it up twice, put one of the mini bows, and I am done with this treat bag. And there I did the You Make My Heart Smile. See how I cut out the little U and centered it? That's the little stamp that's a little bit off. It was just a little typo. That's the one I fixed here, okay? But this would also be great with Happy Birthday, Happy Valentine's. You could keep the heart and then just put a little banner strip here across the top. If you go into Halloween with this, then you start to go into different colorways because this could easily be with this in a treat bag. And that's Pastelloween, and I love Pastelloween. Let's look at this pad a little bit more. You could do her, and there's a house die does exist at my creative time as well. You could use sentiments in here, and this could be for anything. The ginger chef has sentiments. This has sentiments. Love this. This is pretty too. So this paper pad offers a lot, and I love this as well. I was thinking of using this, but then I wanted to do the flowers. And then I realized in my haze of sickness <laughs> that there is a die set that goes with it. And it's been there all along. In the last video, I did this Valentine card. Two sets here used with this with the ice cream cone. Ice cream cone can go here on the treat bag. Come in with the same swirls. If you have this paper pad, Wicked Night, stretch it. This is gorgeous with this bright pink and then that light pink and the white and the black. I think this is so pretty. This would work for your younger recipients as well. Think teenagers and such or those young at heart. This is a great color palette for that. So you can really get a lot of mileage out of this treat bag. All right, crafters, I'm going to stop because I need to go edit this video. Don't forget the sale with the extra 15% off using my code Suzanne, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And you must add that code to your cart where it says code, not in the notes. Don't add it in the notes. You have to add the coupon. You can't send an email afterwards to then say, oh, I forgot. So when you're checking out, take a moment, Check your cart and you put the name in there and then you'll see the change. Once you see that your total, let's say you're at $50 and it's now 15% less, then it's done correctly. Alrighty crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. You have until Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time to get 15% off your entire purchase. So there are some goodies that you might want to add. Some more goodies you might want to add. This is a fabulous goodie too. These little tags are fabulous as well. And the angel wings, if you didn't get them before, these labels. And you'll be ready for all your Valentine's, birthday, and more crafting. Alrighty crafters, until the next video, stay crafty my friends. Bye!